This last quarter proved to be a volatile one in global markets with uncertainty around inflation expectations a major source of the volatility. As global economies started to open up on the back of vaccine rollouts, monetary and fiscal policies remain supportive, which is causing an increase in the demand for goods and services. On the supply side, there are some constraints as global supply chains have not fully recovered from lockdowns and this is putting upward pressure on prices. The question remains whether these high inflation prints are transitory or structural in nature. On the local front, there was some positive news in the form of the SAA deal and changes to energy regulations. The fiscal outlook also improved, leading to a reduction in the weekly bond auctions, but government debt levels remain a longer term concern. This positive shift in sentiment was unfortunately somewhat undone by scenes of social unrest in KZN and Gauteng. Although this undoubtedly caused a dent in confidence, the equity long short book retains its exposure to some SA Inc. names on a valuation basis. The return of the equity long short book was further hurt by the exposure to resource stocks. This resi exposure and particularly the PGM basket has been a big driver of returns over the last two years and the position remains unchanged. Fixed income arbitrage posted the strongest returns over the quarter and we believe the opportunity set remains favourable for this strategy. The hedge fund solution performed marginally below the stated objectives but remained well ahead on a 12-month and year-to-date basis. The Zara Versified Fund is ahead of its benchmark by 9% over the last 12 months and the Portable Alpha and Equity Hedge Solutions 6.5 and 3.9% respectively. We expect the hedge solutions to continue to deliver in line with objectives in this current environment.